peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here in nature baby we got birds like we got the choir out today much love to you beautiful deep divers conversations do you like them do you sometimes freeze up forget what to say don't know what to say start scratching your head how to never run out of things to say in a conversation how to keep the conversation flowing if you are an introvert that's right let's just whoa breathing in that good ass prana baby if you are an introvert if you are a very shy person someone with a lot of anxiety someone who freezes up and you forget your train of thought and then you're like really silent and you've run out of things to say in the conversation and you're thinking to yourself you're thinking to yourself wait a minute we ain't even had breakfast yet can i get a hello <laughs> let me share with you what's helped me along my journey keep conversations going because i'm a introvert and an extrovert right <laughs> never run out of things to say if you are a shy person don't worry i've got you i get thousands of messages every single day and a lot of them are from introverts people with anxiety who find it very difficult to keep a conversation going is that you i used to be like that i'm going to share with you the most amazing secrets so by the end of this video you will be flowing so smoothly in any conversation even the cat down the road will start clapping for you can we do that cat down the road definitely great <laughs> talk about the present moment please when you are talking to anybody the reason why a lot of people freeze up is because they're not tuning into the present moment they're thinking about what happened last week they're not really paying attention and then when it's time for them to speak they're like oh where were we ever got into a conversation they told you their name and then you actually forgot because you weren't paying attention happens to me all the time don't worry about it right talk about your life that's how to keep a conversation going if you are an introvert be descriptive talk about what is actually happening in the here and now so for instance let's just say you meet someone on the beach and this happened to me many years ago and i was talking about how i help people become their greatest version and there was a beautiful wave right and the other person was like do you see that and i'm like wait a minute yes i do see it you see when you talk about the present moment what is actually happening you can now keep the conversation flowing if you see a bird flying by talk about it say oh my days a bird just flew by if you see a leaf falling to the ground the leaf is falling to the ground talk about it if it's a hot day talk about it talk about what you are seeing right now in your immediate environment because the moment you start talking about the past or the future that's fantastic but if you really want to create that rapport get that conversation the juice is going you gotta you gotta you gotta become present and you will find how your conversation becomes so much more enjoyable when you are present to what is actually happening in the here and now okay once you've done that talk about the world current events what is happening 
You see, I meet a lot of people who say, Ralph, I keep meeting people who they're shallow, basically, Ralph. And I have no time for shallow talk, Ralph. Forced interactions or meaningless friendships. Hey, I'm with you. I'm with you right there. I don't have time for shallow talk either. I'm a deep diver. You all hear me talking of the pineal gland. And if that's not your cup of tea, well, disappear like Copperfield, right? <laughs> so I started to realize, I get it. So many of us, we are hiding who we truly are. That's why when we're with someone, we find it very hard to open up and really talk. I had to learn along my journey to expand my expression range. And it's all about meaningful interactions, meaningful friendships. And that can only happen when you really reveal to that other person you're talking to, or even the cat down the road, reveal to them who you really are. You can only do that when you are 100% authentic. Hmm. Slow motion this side. Your vibe will attract your tribe. What I learned along my early journey was this, that the more you are your true self, you will attract more of your true reflections. Can I get a hello? There. How many people just did that with me? If you did that, you are my true reflection. My heart is beating right now, <laughs> right? So realize that when we talk of just getting the conversation going, never forget to listen as well, because a lot of people just talk your ear off and that can be very uncomfortable, especially if you are an introvert, a shy person, right? It's good to listen though, even if you are those things, right? Listen, really listen to what they are saying to know if you should stay or run. <laughs> I realized that I became very anxious along my early journey sometimes. This was when I was actually like a teenager. Sometimes I would be in awkward situations talking to people. Actually, my mom would actually send me into the living room and say, go and talk to those guests. And I'm like, I don't know you. I just met you. You want me to entertain you? <laughs> so I was very anxious and then I would be talking to them, but I wouldn't be listening to what they were saying because I would be so anxious to think of, oh my gosh, what am I going to say next? You see, that's why a lot of people find it very hard to maintain a conversation and to keep it flowing because you're not listening to what the other person is saying. You are so, you are, you are so caught up in what you have to say. And that's why conversations end abruptly, because nobody is listening. You got to really listen. I say this, speak so that people feel comfortable to listen to you. And listen so that people feel comfortable to speak to you. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. That's a secret right there to keep conversations flowing because when people can open up to you, when they can be vulnerable with you, they'll start talking. Oh yeah, they'll start talking when they can really feel they can open up to you, they can pour out their heart to you, start crying on you, right? And hopefully you can do the same. <laughs> and that's what will keep that conversation flowing. I've learned this along my journey that it's all about sharing stuff, sharing your food journey, for instance, seven day vegan challenge. So I had a blueberry juice yesterday and a strawberry and banana smoothie. What did you have? Well, I had a whole bunch of grapes. I had some watermelon. I had some papaya. I had actually I'm doing 
the infinite water seven day vegan challenge. Oh my days. You see how you're getting to talk with someone you've never even known before, right? Food is everything. Just say, hey, what did you eat for breakfast? Hopefully they won't say, we ain't even had breakfast yet. They'll actually start talking and then you're like, okay, why do you eat that? Right? Food, you can literally talk to someone for hours and hours just about food. Trust me, I've done it. Especially vegans. Like, vegans pretty, yeah, vegans pretty much talk about food every single day or are thinking of it every single day in the most beautiful way. So share your food journey with someone and you will find the conversation will begin to flow in a very beautiful way. Many times we find it difficult to keep conversations flowing because we don't feel good enough, right? We don't feel good enough. I'm here to tell you, you are good enough. And once you see yourself as worthy of being in anyone's presence, you will find it a lot easier to develop, once again, a greater expression range. So you can now really speak your heart and mind. Speak your heart and mind, even if your voice shakes. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Because once again, you will find your true reflections that way. One of the greatest ways to never run out of things to say in conversation to keep it flowing if you are an incredibly shy person or an introvert or someone with <gasps> anxiety is to ask questions that's right when you ask someone a question it kind of takes the pressure off you now they've got to answer it dun 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 <laughs> right let them do the hard work because you just want to like sunbathe on the beach i don't blame you it's a hot day today Right, so ask them a question like, how was your childhood? Okay. <laughs> they got a whole lot to say about their childhood. If you ask deeper questions, you will connect with someone on a deeper level. You will have more conversation time. If you say, how are you? Someone's probably gonna say, fine, bye. Okay, that conversation lasted like, what, two seconds? So ask deeper questions. I'm a deep diver. I speak about all kinds of things that will help you become your greatest version. I've spoken about the fifth dimension, indigos. Now, why do I talk of such deep topics? Because I know if I do that, I will find my true reflections because I'm speaking my heart and mind. If you are someone who doesn't have time, it's going to be very hard to keep the conversation flowing. So you've got to even create time in the first place. I am living, I'm living such a magnificent life right now because I have time to really dive deep with people. I'm counseling people, I'm meeting people on the beach, I'm meeting people in the park, and I'm meeting loads of different cats, right? Loads of different cats. And that's only because I created time for that. Once you create time, dive deeper with someone. Don't just say the same mundane question. How are you? You all right? Because you're only going to get the same mundane answer back. So you really, really got to start to ask the big questions, the intimate questions. When was your first time? <gasps> but before you do that, wait a minute, before you do that, actually get to know them, right? Before you do that, actually get to know them. Don't just, don't just start asking massive personal questions straight away, right? Take one step at a time to say, okay, do I really know this person good enough to really start diving deep straight away? Okay, so once you do that, start small with a question like, okay, what happened to you in your childhood? That's a pretty non-threatening question. And then say, okay, what do you think about the world? Okay, 
Do you think we're living in a matrix? Okay, then you'll get to see more about who they are, whether or not you should continue this conversation. Sometimes it's best just to run. Now, if you are an introvert or someone incredibly shy, I'm here to tell you, if something feels off, it probably is. You've got to trust your intuition. There is a reason why some conversations end early, because there is no resonance there. Resonance means returning to sound. So remind yourself this, that you don't have to put up with boring ass conversations. Okay? You don't have to do that. Only invest in meaningful conversations, deeper conversations and meaningful friendships. And then you will find that you will never run out of things to say and you will always keep conversation flowing. Remind yourself this though, that it's beautiful to observe the silence. You see, lovers, best friends, and people who love cats can be around them. And they're around each other and they observe the silence. Sometimes they don't have to talk, but when they do, they can't stop talking. So through observing the silence, you know how to be active, which is when you are talking to someone and then you know how to be passive and then both of you know how to be silent and you're dancing in a beautiful rhythm and that's how to keep the conversation flowing nice and smoothly you see what happens a lot of the times is what i call nervous anxiety a lot of people sometimes you're talking to someone and you're like okay i gotta talk for the sake of talking that's when you have a shallow conversation mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Only talk if your heart is in it. Don't talk just for the sake of talking. Be truly invested in meaningful connections with great minds. And then you'll find that the conversation will become so enjoyable, just like those beautiful birds up there. And it will flow just like that. <laughs> Social meetups. So we're going to have to do a massive infinite waters retreat. Can I get a hello? Because <laughs> we are, I am. Why do I always say we? I say we because it's a collective thing, right? We are inspiring millions of people. Okay. It's overwhelming sometimes how many, how many messages flood my inbox, thousands. And it's a beautiful feeling. So I realize when we're doing the Infinite Waters retreats, when thousands of people are coming with bunches of grapes in their mouths, right? With bunches of grapes in their mouths, right? It's gonna be hard for them to keep the conversation flowing. Social meetups, social events, social gatherings. When you can really meet people outside it's great to learn how to keep a conversation, to learn how to keep a conversation flowing. But check this out. It's what I call private meetups is even better to keep a conversation flowing if you are an introvert. Because once again, you don't want to just throw yourself into the deep end to go to like a massive party. Ever gone to a massive party your friends invited you to and you walk in really late and you got all of these weird faces in front of you and you're like, oh my gosh, who the hell are you? Do I know you? <laughs> right? And you're silent. You're like, I'm so scared of what I should say right now. Okay, so private hangouts, Netflix and chill. No, no, private hangout and chill and whoa. Breathe in that good ass prana, baby. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. That's what it's all about. When you get to know someone on an intimate level in their natural environment, like a lot of people, sometimes they meet me on the beach. They're like, infinite waters, is that you? <laughs> right? You meet me in a natural environment. I always stop and talk to people. I get stopped every single day. And for me, it's only an honor to do that, right? But 
I've got friends I connect with and we always are in nature. And when you are meeting people in both of your natural environments, i.e. nature, <laughs> it's a lot easier to keep that conversation flowing in a very beautiful and simple way. What happens though? A lot of people want to engage in a lengthy conversation in a very awkward time. Sometimes people are just dashing to work and you're like, I want to dive deep with them. Once again, no resonance. They've got to be somewhere at eight o'clock and you're trying to talk to them about the cosmos. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> right? But diving deep, right now I have so much time every single day to dive deep into whatever I want, connect with beautiful minds. And I can only do that because once again, I've freed up space to do that. So when we talk of just going out, it's beautiful to learn the confidence to speak with strangers in the streets and all of that. But you really learn even more on an intimate level, on a one-to-one -one level that you can really open up and say, okay, I like to talk about this with this person. I like to dive deep. And then you start to, once again, surround yourself with people who accept you for who you are 100%. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You see, a lot of people, we've got to change around people. We're one way to our mums, we're one way to our cats, and we're one way to random strangers, right? We want, we really, this is what we're aiming for. To be transparent and authentic means you are the same to every person you meet. And that's how to have the confidence, that's how to have the confidence to keep a conversation flowing. And it happens when you surround yourself with people who don't judge you for what you have to say. They respect where you're coming from. You respect where they're coming from. And it does wonders. Just remind yourself that many times there is not a lot to say to certain people. If both of you aren't on the same consciousness level, I can talk to someone about the third eye for hours and hours. The cat down the road, right? Same consciousness level, the conversation is gonna flow better. Not everyone in your life is meant to be there. Some people are just passing through. Some are meant to stay, some you can learn from, you can grow with. And that's how to keep a conversation flowing in a very beautiful, pure way. If you are someone who's incredibly shy, when you are talking to someone, become aware of your body language. You want to keep your spine straight. You want to relax your shoulders. You want to... Whoa! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. You want to do a bit... You want to do a bit of that. You want to realize that your story is important. Let me repeat that. Your story is important. Your story is important. It is, it is as important as this. Because sometimes we're around people and they're just talking about a subject we have no interest in, but we're still listening. Don't be a doormat, introverts. Express yourself. And realize you got a, you got a whole lot to talk about. You've been through a lot. I know. You told me. <laughs> when you start realizing you are worthy, you are good enough, your story matters. And then you find someone, and both of you have a mutual respect for each other. Both of you now can share your stories together and you will build a long lasting connection and friendship. Goodness knows you might even get married. And then Ralph Smart will come to the wedding and say, Feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> we are out here in the heart of nature, just having fun. Just, whoa. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Infinite waters.
diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs>